Welcome everyone. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a screencast using a free web-based tool called Screencast-O-Matic. The first thing you want to do is visit screencastomatic.com and on this page you want to create your account under, under the register column and then once you have that information you'll be able to log in. Once you log in you should see your name in the upper right corner or the email address that you use for this account. You will not see pro there unless you purchase the pro account and you're not required to do that you only need to sign up for the free account. You should see a start recording button and that's the button that we're going to use momentarily. And I'm going to scroll down to show you a couple of other things here. If you click on my screencast that'll show you all of the screencasts that you create as you do more and more. Here you'll get some demo videos to show you how to do certain things inside of Screencast-O-Matic. In the next section, you'll see examples of teachers using Screencast-O-Matic. In this first one, you'll see a teacher using Geometry Sketchpad to teach the law of signs. You'll also see student examples and some how-to videos. I'll scroll down a little further and you'll see the difference between the free and a pro account. And you'll be able to do quite a few things with the free account. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and now we're ready to start recording. Now before you do record, what you should do is make sure that you know exactly what you want to say in your screencast. So to be precise, you should write a script. If you write your script, it'll make it very smooth, it'll make it very easy to follow and hopefully you won't make too many mistakes while you're doing it. I'm going to press start recording. And once it's finished checking the machine to make sure it's ready to record, you'll, you'll see this message and you'll see a recording area up here. I'm going to minimize this web browser. So you can see here these dotted lines, if you hover the mouse over it and then hold down, you'll be able to move the recording area. And if you grab these white squares, you'll be able to resize the recording area. And you may need to do this just to fit around whatever you may need to record. So at this point, you can open up a Word document, you can open up PowerPoint, you can open up pictures, you can open up software, you can open up um, Firefox, you can open up Google Chrome, you can open up any other, anything that you want to record, you can open up here, and as long as it appears in this window, it's going to record your mouse and your voice along with it and the screen. So if you look at the bottom left, you'll see a few things down here that we can make some adjustments to if necessary. The first one you want to check is the microphone. You want to click this arrow. Make sure that you see USB audio device and you see the black dot beside it. That'll let you know that you, your USB audio device is being used for the recording. Here you can select a particular size if you didn't want to resize manually. If you have a webcam and you want to record with that, you can select here. And if you wanted to close this, you just hit the X. Over to the left is our record button and that's what we want to press when we're ready to record. Once I press this button, you're going to see a countdown. And at the end of the countdown is when you would start to record your narration. So I'm going to press that red button. And here's the countdown. And now it's recording the screen and it's recording everything I do with the mouse. And it's it'll record whatever you open and fits inside of that particular recording area. If you make a mistake in the beginning or at any point, you can always select restart and you'll get a little dialog box here and I ask you, are you sure you want to do that? And if you're sure, you'll press restart and it'll come back to the original screen where we started and to give you those few directions again. And when you're ready, you go back to that red button and you press record again. And now you're recording again. Once you've gone through your screencast and you get to the end of it, then you're ready to stop recording. So you want to go back down to this menu. You want to select Done. And it's going to take you back into Screencast-O-Matic. So you shouldn't close that browser. Notice I only minimized my web browser. So it's going to take me back into Screencast-O-Matic. And now you can play your recording to make sure it's exactly what you want. And once you're satisfied, you'll be able to come over to the right and you have a few upload options. 
if you select upload to SOM, it's going to take it to Screencast-O-Matic. It's going to give you a URL that you can use to link onto your Wikispace. You can also upload to YouTube. Again, you can get a link for that. And you can get an embed code. We'll select upload to SOM. It's going to ask for a title. And you want to type something relevant to what you were doing. You won't see password protect here unless you have the pro account. The language should be automatically set to English. If it's not, you can click the drop down to set that. You can add notes and captions. And all this stuff you can leave checked. And at the bottom, you'll see upload to SOM. Now, once you select this, and I'll drag this over so you can see it a little clearer. Once you select upload to SOM, it'll begin the encoding process, and you'll see that appear right here. You'll see the title that you typed in. And depending on how long you make your screencast, it, that'll determine how long this process takes. And once that's finished, here's the URL that you'll be able to use to link on your Wikispace with your assignment. You can also upload it to YouTube. So if I select this, it kept the information that I had when I uploaded to SOM. Here you can give it a tag. And if you were doing math, you would just type math or whatever it is you were doing. You just type that as a tag so it's easier to find. For category, you can select education if that fits. You can make it private so that no one can find it on YouTube except you and the people you share it with. And you'll need to know your username and password for your YouTube account if you have one. If you don't have an account, obviously you will not be able to upload to YouTube. And at this point, you're finished depending on what you want to do. Either you get this link and link it to your website or you upload it to YouTube and then you get the embed code or the link from YouTube and link that to your Wikispace. So if you have any questions, please let me know.